I uh, usually uh, takes a little bit longer for the video to start after I press the record button. So I'm uh, I'm eating a donut. I thought I had uh, about a minute more before it. my phone is old, and uh, when I start opening up the uh, app for the camera it usually takes a little longer so I was gonna finish my donut like just in time for the recording to start now things are like a little awkward because I'm not gonna put down my donut and I'm gonna finish it so uh, consider this like a review of this donut um, so it's a chocolate donut um, with chocolate uh, frosting on it it's a, a cake style donut produced by Dunford Bakers they do some good work um, I've not been sponsored in any way by Dunford Bakers or by 7-eleven uh, uh, where I got this coffee and I bought the donuts. I normally uh, I don't go for donuts that much. Um, I uh, I'm not a big sweets guy. Um, as you may remember from that time I ate that chocolate bar on here, um, I'm just not exactly uh, into into stuff that's too sweet. Um, this is not too sweet though. Uh, I appreciate that. It's not overpowering in its sweetness um, it's very very good texture to it um, but uh, as I was saying I normally don't even go for donuts but uh, the attractive girl at the uh, 7-eleven with the spiderweb neck tattoo and the uh, teardrops on her face she uh, I asked I asked how much the box of donuts was because it said it was half off and uh, she did not want to do the calculations um, because it was like 347 which I mean I didn't know um, anyway she said ah uh, and then she thought for a minute and then she took out a pencil and started writing the number down and then she said you just take them and I was like well shit free donuts I just wanted to know how much they were I thought it would be a nice treat for my for my students uh, if they completed their their coding work today um, but then I checked my email after I had the donuts in the car and only one of them is turned in their coding assignment so I don't need a box of six donuts because uh, only one of them did their work so maybe one donut tops I'll probably give these to my kids or uh, or something I don't know maybe another teacher because even with these not being like overpoweringly sweet it's still a little bit of uh, sweetness and uh, and carbs for me not exactly like low carb I'm not on the keto diet or anything like that it's just I like my carbs to come from potatoes because um, I love potatoes I will eat potato anything and everything else is a uh, kind of hit or miss I'm, I'm very particular about the bread that I like to eat um, there are some things I really enjoy as far as bread goes but uh, not everything um, and all those carbohydrates they just sort of seem like they just sit on my stomach but not potatoes I don't know why I, I eat so many potatoes I grew up in uh, potato country when we talked about uh, in our last video when I talked about uh, the small Colorado towns. So that first one, when I moved there when I was eight, uh, the whole San Luis Valley is like all about potatoes. The soil there is is pretty 
um, for the most part is pretty garbage soil but the thing about potatoes is they'll grow like anywhere so uh, it's pretty big on potato farming and there's a thing that uh, people who are from there really understand and I don't I don't know of anyone else that really understands that much so Idaho always always gets credit for being like the potato state right but people from the San Luis Valley of Colorado I've noticed right they uh, if they taste the potato they can tell by taste uh, what potatoes came from the valley there's a unique uh, starchy flavor to a San Luis Valley potato that I don't know if it's because of all the alkali in the soil or what uh, maybe that tiny bit of extra arsenic that's in the water down there but something about it has uh, has made the, t the potatoes their very uh, unique flavor so much that uh, I was able to call it when uh, I had a friend uh, pick me up a burger and some fries from Five Guys which uh, Five Guys is in no way an affiliate or sponsor of mine so Five Guys Burgers and Fries uh, over in uh, Ogden they went in there and uh, they got me a burger and fries I tasted the fries and I had a look on my face and they were like what and I took another bite I was like these are San Luis Valley potatoes from Colorado and he was like no because it sounds dumb right it sounds like a made-up thing that you could taste the potato and and know its origin but I, I showed him I after work went down to the five guys because the thing about five guys is they have a little sign that tells you where their potatoes came from and sure enough it was a farm in the valley that's another thing that's been going on in restaurants a lot lately that I really appreciate uh, I saw it in KFC <coughs> and I saw it in uh, Del Taco and those are the only two places because in the past three months I have not eaten out a lot I've just been to those two places Oh, and Burger King. There was a local Burger King that had it too. So, uh, they've started writing on a chalkboard, like, where the produce comes from, which I think is pretty, uh, pretty cool. Because it does two things. First off, it, it lets me see who's buying local produce when it's available. Um, it's not always an option, obviously. Um, but there are, there's a lot of farmland in the in the cash valley to the north of us where they grow a lot of fruits and vegetables uh year round really they they produce food for the country uh they do a lot of dairy farming in the winter time and a lot of uh fruit and vegetable farming in the summertime and if it came from the from the cash valley we know what towns those are so uh, we can see on the sign that that someone in state, a uh, farmer in state, is getting their food served to us in this place. But another interesting thing when it doesn't happen like that is that we can see how far some of our food has come. And sometimes that's just fascinating. Like a, uh, a small uh, lettuce farm outside of Tulare, California might have the lettuce for my taco right what kind of uh, amazing future world we live in where the food on something as seemingly insignificant as a one dollar taco right that shredded lettuce going on that one dollar taco that I bought at Del Taco came from a thousand miles away right and imagine how absurd that would have been like 200 years ago 200 years ago eating lettuce from a thousand miles away it just wouldn't work right your lettuce isn't gonna make it that far especially you know through the desert sunshine from California to here anyway 
Uh, sorry, I was eating a donut at the beginning of this video, because that got me into a sort of stream of consciousness, uh, rambly type thing, and honestly, I don't remember what my topic was going to be. Um, I've got a few topics queued up for the week, but because I've been just sort of riffing for 10 minutes, I think it's a little late into the video for me to even start one of those. So I'll put this one up and then I'm going to go uh, trim up my face some and take a shower because so I'm getting a little shaggy. And after I do that, I'll uh, pull out one of those topics and, and record something new for you guys. So thanks for watching. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. I mean, I guess if you like it and you want others to see it and you want to be informed of new stuff, you should do those things. It's not like, I don't want it to come off like I'm telling you what to do. Like, you better like, share, and subscribe to this video. I mean, obviously, if you don't give a shit what I have to say, then liking, sharing, subscribing is going to be a waste of your time. But know that I appreciate it when you do. Um, I, uh, I really, I, I enjoy when you guys uh, watch and enjoy what I'm making, but you know, you guys watching and enjoying what I'm making is, is uh, partly up to you guys as well, because I depend on uh, people's feedback. Uh, and that's, that's how I do the topics that I go on, is mostly uh, conversations that I'm having with my friends of, of what they'd like to see. Um, so, you know, go ahead and uh, give me ideas of what you want to see. I will say uh, the podcast thing I talked about a few weeks ago, a few videos ago, um, that is going to happen. Um, the real deal with the uh, with the podcast going down is uh, mainly like logistical issues. Recording all of that pure audio on my phone, it just sounds like garbage. Um, so I'm waiting until I can uh, pick up a decent microphone. Uh, I have some recording space in my home office and uh, because I used to do radio stuff, it's already uh, soundproofed enough for decent voice recording. But uh, the microphone I used to use is no more. So I have the space for a voice recording. I don't have the equipment right now. Um, that's an impediment. And uh, once I get that, then I'll start uh, writing up my list of topics. I'm already working on some of that. I've got a few people who I would love to have on the podcast, and they have definitely uh, expressed an interest. So uh, that's big news coming in the future. Not here yet. All right. Um, Anyway, I want to thank you for joining me today, and I'll see you in a little bit when I take care of my nasty. Bye.